What's up guys, it's Glenn the Movie Guru, how are ya? Walking Dead is back. And if you're finding me for the first time, my name is Glenn Ferraro, I am the Movie Guru. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, movie news, and pretty much vlogs and a little everything else. So if you're finding me for the first time and you like my content, please subscribe. And uh, I'll be bringing The uh, Walking Dead regularly now that it's back. Alright, so The Walking Dead. One of the best premieres ever. Um, I have to say that this one did not disappoint in everything. Uh, action packed from the beginning. Um, oh yeah, my stuff will have spoilers, so I'm going to spoil some stuff for you. So I hope you don't mind, but I got to do it. Um... So let's see, where to begin? Uh, the opening minutes, uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, I had seen it the four minutes before on Facebook. Um, so I kind of had an assumption that, that the gentleman Sam from last season, um, he showed up again, which is good because I like that because at least this new showrunner is continuing like introducing a character and bringing them back, unlike in season two, where I know a lot of people, myself included, hated this. They introduced a bunch of people, and nothing. You know, w who are they? We don't know. Oh, at least we had some closure. Granted, it was all of two minutes that he was there, and boom, done, slit throat, dead. Um, and it looked like Glenn was going to buy the farm, but he kept getting interrupted. So, um, yeah, it was crazy. Um, Let's see, <clears throat> Carol, the badass chick that she is, she uh, single-handedly rescued all of the people from the Terminus. And, yep, she blew up a propane tank and lit a firework, boom, the whole place went up, a couple walkers went up. Um, so, yeah, we had a lot of death, a lot of uh, undead breaking into it was kind of reminiscent of the uh, the prison, um, but they were able to get out because there was more than one way to get out, um, and they were all together, so that was good. Um, we didn't see anything about Beth this episode, so we're still wondering where she's at. Um, and Terminus was only one episode, well, two if you count last season's uh, finale. Um, it was the only one episode, <laughs> and uh, now they're moving on, which is pretty funny considering that um, I thought it was going to be, you know, the eight episodes, uh, and then, you know, they'd be done with Terminus, kind of like the prison, but that didn't happen. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, Rick and Carl were reunited with Judith. Um, Tyrese and Sasha were re reunited. Um, Daryl and, and, um, Carol were reunited, and that was kind of, I've never seen him show so much affection, um, for her, and, but, I mean, you're going almost a whole season without them seeing each other, so, yeah, there's definitely some, some chemistry there, um, and that was nice to see. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, we got a flashback to how the people came to be um, the Terminus that they were uh, now. And uh, they were taken over by these people and tortured and all that stuff. And that was pretty uh, pretty harsh, what was happening with them. So I could kind of see their point, um, but the whole, you know, the dog-eat-dog -dog world. And that was kind of uh, messed up. Um, let's see. Um... Yeah, it was just all in all a great episode. Um, I loved the ending. The ending was one of those WTF moments. Because um, I thought once the credits were done, that was it. It was over. And, but they had a little bonus at the very end. So if you hadn't seen it, you missed it. But uh, I'll describe it for you. Uh, a person has their back to the camera and they come up to the no sanctuary 
uh, that Rick had crossed off. Um, and so he looked, he turned around, took his mask off, took off his bandana, and we have Morgan. <laughs> Morgan is coming back. And that was surprising. I was I was shocked on that. And I was like, yes! Finally, because they've they've talked about Morgan showing up, showing up, showing up, hasn't shown up, shown up for one episode, boom, now he's going to be back. Uh, so he's going to be following Rick and them and meet up with them at some point. Um, and just all in all, this episode was awesome. So I, uh, I rate this episode a 5 out of 5, one of the best season premieres I've seen from The Walking Dead. Um, did not disappoint. Um, the the blood, the guts, the the bashing of the skulls, the just awesome. Uh, Greg Nicotero, he hit it out of the park again. Um, the the special effects were awesome. The practical effects were awesome. The um, CGI was good, done in moderation, um, not overly done, but it's 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 good. It's awesome. Um, and I can't wait till next week and see what happens. So let me know what you guys think about this episode. Tell me if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and, uh, that's pretty much it for this, uh, review. So I will talk to you guys later. And this is Glenn, the movie guru, signing off. And keep calm, because I will be here. Bye.